Hello, YouTube family. Hope everyone is doing good. I am bringing you a huge declutter. I've kind of been in the mindset lately of decluttering and getting things organized and trying to get my life back on track now that I've got this kind of new lease on life and everything. But I did want to show you what I'm getting rid of, give you just a couple of reasons why before I actually do declutter it. Now I want to just say before I start the video is that I don't give any of my makeup away to my subscribers and that is because of safety issues. Um, I do lots of declutters and have been asked that a lot in the past. So it usually goes to my daughter and my family and friends. So just so you guys know that. So we're just gonna kind of go through this really fast and I'm gonna give you a, just a general overview of why I don't like certain products because there is so much in here that there is no way. And some of it is not that it's bad product. It's just that I have so much that I have to clean out. But this one is a product that I really have not liked and it's the Aveda Air Control. It's the Light Hold Hairspray. I do not like the smell of this. This, this smell is just almost too chemically for me to even spray. It doesn't like stay with you all day or anything like that, but I'm going to declutter it because specifically of that smell. I bought uh, the Sally Hansen Instant Nail Dry Polish. I actually do like these polishes and I do like the formula. However, this particular one, um, even though it looks like it's purple in the jar, it ends up being just like a clear with a tiny bit of pink sheen in it, which is so weird to me. I'm decluttering the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Sheer Boost Light to Medium. And partly because I have hip pan on it, the other thing is that I was wearing it for a bronzer, but it's just too orange for me now. That's also the case with this bronzer from e.l.f. It's just a bit too orange for me. I found that I just love the Milani ones that have a little bit more cool tone of them. I am going to be decluttering my Rimmel uh, Electric Violet Palette. This one, I do like this, but some of the colors in here, you really have to work hard to get them built up and they don't last throughout the day. The crimson one did last a little bit longer, but I have so many of these colors and I find myself never ever reaching for these two palettes. So I am gonna be decluttering those. I'm decluttering the Cushion Lumi Foundation from L'Oreal. This was just a really bad color for me. Ofra's Banana Powder there for a while. I was absolutely in love with this stuff underneath my eyes, but I since found something different. So I actually am going to be decluttering that one. These two products right here. One is from Essence. This is the Luminous Matte Bronzing Powder. This one, I don't get any color out of. I mean, it looks more like it would be a powder that you would use all over your face. I don't get any bronzing color out of that one. And then this one is from Milani. This is the Hermosa Rose, and it is supposed to be an illuminating face powder. And again, I don't find myself reaching for it, and it doesn't give me enough of an illumination for to really even use. So I'm gonna be decluttering that one. I'm decluttering my L'Oreal Infallible Stick Foundation. I do like this. However, it's been over a year since I've had it and I never ever reached for it. So I'm decluttering that. Also, the NYX Gotcha Covered um, Full Coverage Concealer. This is just a really bad color on me. So I'm hoping somebody else can get some use of, out of that. And the Cover FX Blurring Primer. I don't like how tinted this is. It's just got a really kind of orangey tint to it and it's very, very thick. So I'm gonna be definitely decluttering that one. Didn't work well for me. This is the color 020 of the Catrice Liquid Coverage Foundation. I love this foundation. However, this particular color immediately oxidizes to an orange on me. And I don't know whether this is old or not because the foundation works well on me in other shades, but that one I have to get rid of because of that. I'm getting rid of quite a few lipsticks and lip glosses that I just don't reach for anymore. Not necessarily because they're bad or you know they're bad color, just because I don't ever reach for them. I have other ones that I like. This one is in Plum Rose from Revlon. This is the Plumping Serum Gloss from Hard Candy. I have an old Maybelline um, lip gloss and I've had that forever, it's gotta go. This one is from a lip gloss that I can't read the name on. This is Passport to Beauty. This is the Luminous Lips. This is a pretty one, but again, I never reach for it and I've had it much too long. My butter um, lip glosses, there is two different colors here. I do like these, but I think they've gotten too old too. They've started to kind of separate. I'm getting rid of those. And then a little Lovecraft lipstick from Kat Von D. 
I like this color. It's pretty. It's a neutral pink, but that has been here a long time. Smashbox. This is a little bit too gold for me. This is, I think, Petal Metal is what this is called. This is like their liquid cream glosses or something like that. Yeah, whenever I put this on, it's just too gold for me. So I'm getting rid of that one. And then I've got this brown, brown lipstick that I got in a surprise goodie bag from Colored Rain. That one doesn't work. And this one, number 45 from Rimmel, this one doesn't work on me either. It kind of just disappears. So I'm getting rid of that one, passing them on. This palette from Milani, it's undeniably gilded. I am not a fan of these palettes. They did a great job on their packaging, but these palettes do not blend well. Um, I'm, I'm just not crazy about it. I don't wear a lot of glitters and even the metallics, they just fell short. So that one is definitely going from Colored Rain in that same goodie bag. I also got a highlighter. I cannot handle wearing this. It's too dry. It's a beautiful color. It's just way too powdery and it drives me crazy when I get it on. And then e.l.f. has a glow powder um, and then Milani had a glow powder. I did reviews on these. These are okay. The Milani one makes me feel like I'm a disco ball all over my face. The e.l.f. one is a little bit too drying. So I think if you have the Milani one and you'd like to use it, you know, for a, you know, a natural looking highlighter, that'd be fine. But as far, as far as going all over your face, it just really didn't work and the e.l.f. one was too drying. So I'm getting rid of those. I have four of the Super Shock shadows that have dried out. So I'm going to see if I can save those and pass them on. I'm but getting rid of this Morphe E1 brush. Now, not because this is a bad brush by any means. You can see that it's, you know, really fat and it's, you know, stubby like this. And so it's really good for buffing, but unless you're somebody that bakes or does a lot of buffing with their powder products, this brush I haven't reached for in like two or three years. So I'm getting rid of that one. I'm also decluttering my CYO foundation. This did the same thing. It oxidized on me really quick. So everybody just loves that. And they're so sad that it's being discontinued. And I wanted to make it work on my skin, but it just wouldn't. And then the Physicians Formula Insta Ready uh, Face Primer. This is really, really just basically straight silicone. And it just made my makeup slide. So I'm getting rid of that. Elf has a new highlighter. Really good formula, but the color is just way too gold on me, which is the same thing that I'm doing on the Gilded Honey Baked one. This is the Gelato Swirl from Laura Geller. Same thing, I'm getting rid of both of those because the color is just bright gold and it does not go good with my complexion, but they are good highlighters. I have a lot of other ones for the Laura Geller one. This is a cream highlighter from Sigma that I used a bit. It's a very natural looking highlighter and I do like it, but it's dried out on me. And then Colored Rain sent me two um, liquid lipsticks. I don't wear liquid lipsticks. I do know a lot of my family that do. And then the Sugar Rush palette from Flower Beauty just fell short. I just hadn't actually taken the plunge and gotten rid of that one. I'm also getting rid of the Butter Blush from um, Physicians Formula. I really like this when I first got it, and I don't know whether it has just dried out on me or what. And I love this color. It's a really pretty color. Um, it's rosy pink, but it just doesn't look good. It's gotten really patchy on me. You know, it could be that I've just started into menopause or gone through all those surgeries and things are just, you know, changing with my skin. So it could be that. It could be a lot of things, I guess. <laughs> you know, when you get BoxyCharm or you get, like I get the Allure Beauty Box, you just get a lot of makeup that you don't really use. I've actually come to that conclusion and stopped getting any of those. But I'm just going to, you know, show you guys this. This is from Mana. This is the Glow Illuminator. I'm not getting using that because it's just too hard to work with and it seemed to really disrupt my foundation. The Elizabeth Mott Show Me Your Cheeks blush. I did like the formula on this blush, but I've had this way too long. This is from Primera. It's Alpine Water Cream. I am not crazy about water creams because I have such dry skin. So I'm going to pass that along. And then from Cargo, this is an essential lip color. I am not crazy about this lip color at all. It's too dark, almost like a deep purpley red, and I just don't like that. And then from Laritzi Cosmetics, this is the Liquid Beam um, Illuminator or Highlighter. 
This is, again, it just seemed to disrupt my foundation and my blush and stuff that I was trying to wear it on top of. This right here is from Revlon and it's one of their um, Color Stay eyeliners. This isn't a bad eyeliner, but um, every time I use it, it has a tendency to come out and I think it's just dried up on me and it's too old. Um, I did actually like that one. And then from Essence, this one is dried out too. This is one of their lip liners in their old packaging that is really dried up. And this is from ColourPop. This is their Brow Boss Gel. This is okay. It's kind of a little bit too goopy on the end of there. And it wasn't really a great color for me either. Um, it's in Dope Taupe. And then this pencil is in Dope Taupe. And again, just way too um, like orangey brown and I just can't wear that. So even though I love that pencil, I'm gonna pass that up. And then this is from Benefit, and this is their highbrow, but this is the glowy one. And I just haven't reached for that, and it's gotten really old, and I'm afraid I need to get rid of that one. From Essence, this is their color corrector in green. When I first got this, I was kind of impressed by it, but it's so thin, the formula is so thin that it really doesn't, you know, stay on like it should and really give you the color correcting that it needs to like a regular one would. So I'm gonna get rid of that one and pass it on. From Pretty Vulgar, I am going to be getting rid of this blush. Again, this is one of those blushes that looks pretty but it doesn't last because it's so powdery. And then I also got from Wander Beauty, this is their two-sided concealer. One side is a stick and then the other side is a liquid like highlight or illuminating. And in concept, that's really good but the stick didn't cover the way that it should. And and then when you got the liquid part on there, it just seemed to wipe away what was there. So I'm not impressed with that one. I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm also getting rid of my Master Chrome from Maybelline in the gold color. That's another one that just doesn't work for me anymore. This is weird that it's in here, but here's a brush that I've had for a while. This is uh, the wet brush. Any of you that have super thick hair, you know that these are touted as being the best brushes. It just gives me a lot of static. So I am going to be getting rid of that one. From Sigma, a blush that, is, again, these blushes are just too powdery. Um, that one isn't a great color for me either. It turns way too orange. And then I'm getting rid of my Catrice strobing blush. Never reach for it. And then my Laura Geller Plush Peony. This is just a baked blush. Um, this really doesn't have any luminosity or anything in it. Um, I'd never reach for it. From Essence, their Satin Blush. You guys remember that I did that whole blush um, overview of like 18 blushes or something. So I'm like overloaded on blushes. And if I go out and buy one more, then I just have way too many. From Laura Mercier, this is her concealer. I really don't like this because it it oxidizes on my eyes really fast too so this one wasn't great coverage it didn't last long enough and i felt like it turned um, orangey on me and i'm not into the orange look nyx full and fluff eyebrow pencil this is this is such a joke you guys first of all it has like one of those artiste little brushes on the end that's what it's supposed to be that thing will not comb through your brows and then the other side is a it's like a pomade. So it really makes your brows really waxy. So I was really disappointed in that. And then I got some lip toppers from Jouer. They had a little bit of grit in them. You guys know I'm a little bit weird about if anything has grit in it. I can't handle that from ColourPop. This is an eyeshadow, liquid eyeshadow. And I just felt like this flake during the day. Really couldn't wear it from Tarte. This is a, one of their glosses that I just have not enjoyed the color, so I haven't reached for it very much. It's going. And then from Ulta Beauty, this is one of their lip plumping, transforming top coats. Um, I've had this for a long time, and I used a lot of it, so I did like it, but I think something went wrong with it because it has a bad smell. Keep in mind, I'm not giving all this away that I talk about like that. I will be chucking part of this stuff to get rid of it. From e.l.f., this is their Prismatic Lip Gloss. Just not a great color for me. I never reach for it. And then I have Mauve For Me from Maybelline. And this one is not a mauve. That is a orangey, corally color, and it's not for me. So <laughs> definitely getting rid of that one. I have a polish that I got in my Allure box. I have some Moroccan oil that I got in my Lure box, which smelled really bad, by the way. I have the Wonder Brow that has gotten way too old. I, I used to use it all the time and I don't reach for it anymore. I much prefer pencil. And then from Essence, I have a few products that I am getting rid of too. This is supposed to be a long lasting pencil in brown. It, I got it to go in my waterline and it just ends up just being gone within just a little while. And then the Make Me Brow,
Now, I do like this, but I think that I would rather have one that's clear because this does have color and it just isn't the right color for me. I guess that's what it is. Okay, and then from Urban Decay, this is their Gwen Stefani face palette. I really liked this when it first came out, but I find myself only using these two colors in here and I reach for it so seldom that I'm gonna get rid of that one as well. This is from Jcat Beauty. This is one of their liquid highlighters. This is pretty, but it leaves a really purpley cast on my cheeks. I think in another color, it would be fine. Um, this is the Light Perfecting Serum Primer from Catrice. I think this is a great dupe for Becca's primer, but for me, this color is just a little bit too light. It gives almost like a white cast. I have seen other ones that I like better. So this one in particular, I'm gonna um, get rid of only because of the color, but I do like that one. Okay, almost done you guys. From ColourPop, this is one of their loose pigments. This has so much glitter in it that it just makes me look terrible with all that glitter in it. Um, would be great for somebody that did love glitter, but this one didn't work for me, so I'm gonna declutter it. From Sigma, this is one of their loose pigments, and I never ever reach for it. It's a pretty color, but um, it's one that just makes a really big mess when I open it. From e.l.f., this is their Duo Highlighter. This is super, super powdery. It is a pretty highlighter. Again, it's super powdery, and I just can't make it work on my aging skin. And then I thought I was gonna love the Koki Concealer, but it just really hasn't worked for me. It ends up making me look more cakey than I already am. I think that's everything, you guys. That was a ton. Hope that you hung with me. If you have, I appreciate it so much. Thank you. If you like seeing declutter videos, don't forget to please give me a thumbs up. That always does help me out very much. I appreciate you being here, spending your time with me as always. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell so that you don't get unsubscribed and you don't miss any of my future videos. I hope that you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you guys all in my very next video. Love you. Bye-bye.